Hello everyone. In this video, let us understand what causes jaundice and what are the types of jaundice are there. Now in jaundice, the major symptom is yellowish coloration of sclera and skin cells. And this color is because of a pigment called as bilirubin. This bilirubin is a breakdown product of red blood cell. Now, red blood cell has a limited lifetime. For every 120 days, red blood cells will break down and releases its hemoglobin. Hemoglobin again breaks down into heme and globin part. Globin is an amino acid protein part. Heme is what gets converted into bilirubin. Now this bilirubin is not soluble in water and it is called as unconjugated bilirubin. Now this unconjugated bilirubin from the blood it gets into liver. In the liver it gets conjugated, conjugated with glucuronic acid. Now this conjugated bilirubin is water soluble. From the liver through the bile ducts along with bile it gets into intestine. Now in the intestine this bilirubin is gets converted into urobilinogen and then stercobilin. Now stercobilin will get excreted out of the body. So this is how bilirubin goes out of the body. Now jaundice occurs when there is an excess levels of bilirubin is there in the blood more than 3 milligrams per deciliter. Now this could occur because of three reasons. First one is called as prehepatic jaundice. Prehepatic jaundice means how bilirubin is forming by breakdown of red blood cells. So when there is an excess hemolysis is there in certain diseases like malaria, sickle cell anemia, thalassemia, all of them there is an excess amount of hemolysis is there. So excess production of bilirubin is there that is what causes jaundice. This is called as prehepatic jaundice before getting into the liver in the blood itself the blood cell uh, uh, hemolysis is what is causing this jaundice. <coughs> Coming to the next one hepatic jaundice. Now what happens is in the liver the bilirubin processing occurs. When there is an excess amount of bilirubin when liver is not able to process enough bilirubin then jaundice comes. This occurs when there is an infection to liver like uh, hepatitis viral hepatitis or when there is a liver cirrhosis or during chronic alcoholism all of them may cause uh, hepatic uh, jaundice. Now after that post hepatic jaundice is there. Now from the liver bilirubin goes through the bile ducts to the intestine. If there is a blockage in the bile duct either because of gallstones or pancreatitis or pancreatic cancer the passage of bilirubin from the liver to intestine is blocked that that causes excess amount of bilirubin in the liver and that is what causes jaundice so these three types prehepatic hepatic post hepatic jaundice are there now leaving this there is an another type of jaundice which occurs with, with newborn babies it is called as neonatal jaundice what happens in newborn babies is their liver is not completely developed to process the bilirubin so there the bilirubin processing is not possible and hence it increases the levels of bilirubin in the blood that is what causes neonatal jaundice. The treatment is very simple they are placed the phototherapy is the treatment they are placed under a, a, a particular kind of light which converts or metabolizes bilirubin the condition is solved. So this is about jaundice types and what causes jaundice. Thank you.